Every time I read something that this man does, I just... I just love this man so much. Hello beautiful bookworms! My name is Katerina and welcome to my channel. And if you're seeing me with his clothes on, I'm filming many reviews today, so I don't want anyone talking trash about me. So today, very quickly, I decided to do an impulsive review of a comic series that I just finished. Um, I read these today, I read these back to back, and I don't even... Normally, I give myself a little bit of time to think about it, but now I don't want to think about it. I just want to talk about it because it's so fucking great that any of you guys out there that are looking for a comic series, that are looking for a profound meaning comic series, this one's for you. The comic series that I'm talking about already exists in volume, I believe, but I read it in comics, and that is May's Book by Jeff Lemire. This has five issues, I have read all of them. I will show you the covers because they are beautiful. Look at that. It's it's a piece of art. I my god. But for the sake of this video, I'm only going to hold up the first issue of May's book. So May's book is the story of this man. He is a contract kind of a inspector. He sees if everything is okay with buildings and such and he has lost his baby girl to cancer 10 years ago. She was 11, I believe. And she was obsessed with doing maze books, and he is starting to forget her face. And his life is kind of losing all the meaning. He doesn't eat well, he doesn't shave, he doesn't care about his work, he's bitchy to other people or just ignores them. He doesn't see faces around him because he is trying too hard and he cannot remember his daughter's face. She died with cancer. Um, and he is still holding on to that feeling into that memory of her, but he doesn't have them because he can't see her face. Um, and so this is very deeply disturbing for him. And one day he receives an unknown call. And when he picks it up, it's his daughter's voice saying, I'm at the center, come and find me. You have to find me. And through this, It'll begin a journey in which he will rediscover himself and his relationship with his daughter and face off some of these problems and situations that he's into right now. And possibly, possibly, either losing his life completely or starting a new life all two together. So obviously you can already see that there's trigger warnings for the loss of a loved one and obviously for depression. Um, there isn't anything for abuse or consumption of substances or anything like that. So he's just incredibly depressed, which was very raw in the portrayal. And if you are struggling with that, maybe this is not the thing that I want to read. But uh, obviously you have a loss of a child, which is one of the most complicated things that happens. Um, and Jeff Lemire, the author of this, uh, he's the one that narrates the story and does the art style for this, which I hadn't seen his art style yet. I had seen him uh, in paired with Andrew Sorrentino, and he's one of my favorite art people in the world. Um, but Jeff Lemire has a really incredible art style. It's kind of like a sketch, but at the same time, a profound drawing from your soul, you know? The coloring of the things and the way that the child is always seen in red because the shirt that she loved to wear the most was a red uh, cotton thing. And all of the dad's life is kind of in black and white, sometimes the yellowish grays. Um, I found that beautiful. You could see the difference of things that matter to him and things that really didn't. Um, and the voyage that he goes through and the journey that he goes through to try and find his daughter and rescue his daughter, knowing fully well that she died and that something strange is going on here. It's one of the most beautiful and profound things that I've read in a while. And I strongly advise you, this is one of the quickest reads that I've ever read 
because the only time that I stopped in the page was to actually look at the eyes of the characters, look at the art style, seeing the patterns and beauty, because the dialogues are fast. The dialogues matter a lot, they are perfect, they are so well written, but at the same time, this is a visual, very intriguing and beautiful thing that you can just feel hitting profoundly every time you switch the page and turn the page and just move forward. I absolutely love May's book and if you want to sign to start reading comics, please, for the love of God, pick up May's book or for the love of anything that you believe in, pick up May's book. And I mean it when I say that I don't have children, but I think about having them someday and the journey that this man goes through profoundly broken to try and pick up the pieces of his life with his daughter and just the fact that he can't remember her face is so heartbroken but at the same time the ending of this I find is so fulfilling in a way um, because our loved ones never leave you know they always stay with us uh, it's just that sometimes because we lose some parts of them we feel like we are losing everything of them and that's not true uh, I also loved the raw portrayal of emotions between characters. There is a, a part in here where we see him interact with his ex-wife, um, which is obviously the mother of this child, um, and the rawness of emotions portrayed in both of their discourses. Also, there's a really cute dog and nothing happens to the dog, so we are okay. Um, and the dog is just a character in itself. Um, and there's a lot of talk about dreams and hope and monsters and love and being a parent and even though I'm not one I think that this is one of the most beautiful things that I could read about parenthood and I am very very happy that this comic series exists. So yeah guys that's going to be all for today if you ever read any Jeff Lemire tell me in the comments down below if not I know another one which is pretty great which is Gideon Falls which is by Jeff Lemire and Andrew Sorrentino and there is a book, a hardcover copy of A Story of the Joker by these two as well, which is incredibly mind-fucking-blowing as everything that Jeff Lemire kind of writes with anyone, it's kind of mind-blowing. Um, I am deeply in love with this author, so if you guys know any more of his works that could be intriguing and nice, I already have some, but tell me, tell me in the comments down below. So that's going to be all for today. If you like, and leave a like or subscribe and heavy readings to you all. Bye!